to know about. Some of my agents, and uh, he put me in touch with James, and we met up and got the tube down to Clapham to the building, and um, went through an hour of health and safety, which was hilarious because I used to work on building sites. Okay. Um, as a labourer, plasters labourer, brickies labourer, general labourer, and um, I just you, you know just wear plimsolls and t-shirt and jeans. These days, Christ, you've got to go through this you know whole rigmarole of um, getting ready and jackets and glasses and hats and steel toe caps and you know all this crazy stuff. Yeah. So we got back to the building, which was absolutely terrifying because it's massive. When you, when you see the artist impression on the website, it just looks like a nice building, but it was bonkers because it was all half finished and, you know, a lot of noise and a lot of people. And it took me back to my, you know, teens and twenties when I used to work on building sites, uh, which is terrifying. And, um, and I didn't know what the hell to do because it was so vast. And I just used poskas and paint and stuff like that. You know, it's impossible to do a in two days, it's impossible to do a big, you know, mm. mural or something like that. So I just used, just did very discreet drawings everywhere. Yeah. And then the guys filmed it and zoomed in and I told them where it was and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, uh, the film is great. I mean, you know, it's a very sweet film. Yeah, it is lovely. Quite small. Well, it, goes with the, it goes with the territory, really. It's the yeah. only way I could think of doing it, you know. I went down there with James without doing anything, just to do a recce. Mm and then decided that's the best way to do it because mm -hmm. it's going to be filmed and can zoom in and yeah. you know. behind it so well, it's pretty far away really i mean it's just using i mean a lot of the stuff that's there won't be there anyway like signs and stuff like that fire exit mm -hmm. emergency exit you play with that do an arrow the other way and mm -hmm. play with it and then it gets covered up doesn't yeah. matter so you I used to draw, I used to, when I was um, a pastor's mate and painting and decorating as well, I used to draw things and then cover it up. Oh, really? So when, maybe in a few years' time, decades perhaps, when people scrape it off, they'll see something that's a bit dodgy. I mean, <laughs> dodgy. Uh, is that Essential. the main, Yeah. Of course it is, otherwise people don't buy it. What's the point in doing work and people don't buy it? It's pointless. I'm not in a garret, you know, thinking, oh my god, being existential and reading novels and poetry. Oh, I want to sell the bloody stuff. <laughs> of course I do. And, that, you know, I've got thousands, literally thousands and thousands of drawings. I'm always trying to sell them on my blog, my website, you know, agent, galleries. Trying, trying, trying. How long did The first day, did lots of work, filmed. <laughs> Uh, second day went in, went for builder's breakfast, you know, full English, get the energy, <laughs> took me back again, and I cracked a tooth. How did you do that? Oh, oh in, the, in the breakfast? Yeah, and it was absolute <laughs> agony. So I just sort of carried on sort of blinking with pain, and I had to leave. Oh, really? And go to the dentist, yeah. I was in so much pain. But I did enough for the film to work. Yeah. And that day I did lots of colour stuff. You know, you can see around here I just like using blobs of colour, mm -hmm. but they didn't use it in the film. Oh, uh, okay. I have a studio in Shoreditch and a um, big flat table. Uh, there's, it's three sided with windows, so I haven't got a wall. Mm -hmm. but in my flat in Dalston, I've got a wall. So I just pin naked bits of paper up. Paints, water, acrylic paint, paintbrushes, water, palette, and just go for it. I have no idea what's going to happen. So it's total enjoyment. So you don't, you don't get your inspiration from like a, a milk is still life in front of you? Or... Sometimes I get inspiration from everywhere. The bus, um, television, family, my mad family, um, the madness of the world, sex, religion, ridiculousness of religion, um, birth to death, Every, all of the kind of classics, really, and literature. If I got a block, I've got a block. That's the trouble with blocks. There's nothing you can do about it. You can go through, I was sleeping through the paper on the bus over here, and everything was pressing. There wasn't one good bit of news. Even the, even the Oscars I find totally depressing. Oh, really? Why? Because it's shit. It's just shit. It's just money, money, money.
and you know, terrible frocks and red carpet, and, aren't we great? What have they done for us? Entertained us for an hour and a half? And you don't think that more is? No, it just, it's about money. Nearly everything on stage is about money. Why do we pay out the bankers? 